Hello, my beautiful Taurus, and welcome to your reading at this time at the Oracle of Atlantis with me, Blair. I hope you're doing well out there. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a turning member, welcome back. It's good to have you here. So we're going to dive into the Star Codes Astro Oracle today to take a look at your current challenge and the gift it offers, as well as the journey in between. So I've gone ahead and pulled out your cards. Your challenge at this time, we have the energy of the sun with source so with the sun of source being your challenge um for some of you i'd almost see this as maybe you're questioning where you come from what you believe in um do you believe in god the divine angels ancestors none of it kind of that thing you're searching for yourself here so the challenge can be narcissism is the shadow of the sun's energy, the false belief that I am the center of the universe and you are not. Learn to earn attention and respect rather than demand or expect it. The sun's light shines through the teacher, actor, lover, leader, those who use their enthusiasm, warmth, and charisma for a common good. It's time for you to take center stage. Let the sun's light flow through you and shine, illuminate and energize your surroundings and use this to be of service. Notice what feeds your vitality and work with it. As you let the sun flow through you, your health will improve. You will draw support to your energy and enthusiasm. Step into your potential. If you are asking about a project, notice how the vitality flows through the design and clear the path. Let the situation be a channel for the sun's energy and feel it take on a life of its own. So again, the challenge is narcissism is the shadow of the sun's energy, the false belief that I am the center of the universe and you are not. Learn to earn attention and respect rather than demand it. So clarifying this energy for you, Taurus, with the Light Seer's Tarot, we have the Wheel. So this very much has the energy of karmic retribution, but the Wheel of Fortune is the Wheel of Karma. Things move in cycles, right? You are finding your balance here, and there is definitely this abundance of good luck with the Wheel's energy upright. Changes, fate, destiny, a lucky break, cycling up through karmic lessons, the chaos of creation, a turning point and serendipity get ready sweet soul for the wheel is about to gift you divine blessings synchronicity is afoot so look for wonderful new opportunities to propel your life ahead be prepared for for fortuitous meetings or a fork in the path that will change everything for the better if you're open to spotting opportunity it's yours for the taking just follow the breadcrumbs of serendipity and fate toward your happy ending. Remember that the wheel is always spinning and that things are never the same as they were before. Learn to enjoy this constant regeneration and know that with every spin, we have the chance to cycle upward toward our own expansion and enlightenment. Trying to control the outcome of the wheel of fortune would prove to be impossible, so don't. Grab your lucky dice and see the spinning of the wheel for what it really is. All the beauty of a lifetime of experiences waiting to spring forth and be lived. I allow the transformative energies of fate help me to expand my experience. So the gift for you, Taurus, we have the energy of solar, solar flares with activate. So I actually love this energy. We have two kind of sun card energies. So it did speak of the challenge being like um, narcissism. However, this doesn't necessarily... Well, maybe it does mean narcissism. Um, this could be feeling like everything's coming at you at once and it's all surrounding you, but you may be picking up on other people's energy. So this is a call to recognize not everything that you're feeling or that is coming through is necessarily yours, right? It could be multiple people, multiple energies, especially if you are an empathic soul picking up on those energies. Much like the sun does with the solar flares, I believe it pulls like asteroids and stuff from space into it and then it pushes out what basically has been transmuted. So this is kind of an energy of like taking things within you, healing and transmuting them and releasing them back to where they belong for the benefit of your own um, mental health as well as other people's, right? The people that you come into contact with. But the divine also does this with you, right? It also, it takes your karma 
your lessons, your experiences, almost pulls them into the sun and gives them back transmuted so you can retain the wisdom here. The song If I Could Turn Back Time by Cher is coming up. Just from the numbers, we have 18 and now 17. So 18 in the tarot, the major arcana, is typically the moon's energy, which is balancing one's fears with one's hopes, finding that equilibrium, and connecting to subconscious energy, intuitive guidance. Um, 17, what is 17 in the tarot? 17 in the major arcana of the tarot is the star card. So this is all about releasing past experiences, old emotions, healing and manifesting one's de desires. It's almost like you're activating your dreams here or you soon will be. Change is or will be in the air. A flare of energy supports your work. The mood is restless, sparky, revolutionary, and curious. People are, people are hungry for change. It's not the time to be quiet, but to be fast on your feet. Solar flares magnify the energy on any other cards you pull. When the sun is storming or our social and political world activates, revolutionary changes manifest and trees grow faster in the forest. Aim carefully because a solar flare brings momentum, not thoughtfulness, that you have to provide. A calm metaphysical perspective may be easy, but you can bring that in to create balance and longevity. What you build during a solar flare may be hot and feverant, but not necessarily long-lived. To turn an idea or a love affair into something permanent like a business plan or a partnership will take conscious effort. Kind of makes sense with this wheel here. She's doing basically the tree pose in yoga. So you may want to look into yoga if you've never done it before. The gift of the sun is sending extra voltage and inspiration your way, so use it wisely. Feel the heat in the situation, the passion in the people involved, then balance that fire by adding water's compassion, the thoughtfulness of air, and the logistics of earth to turn that inspiration into reality. It's very much um, sorting through energies here to balance one's elements to come into this, like, magician manifesting type energy so you can physically manifest your success and abundance here. So clarifying the gift of the activation of the solar flares, we have this energy of the Hierophant. So the Hierophant, much like the wheel, is another major arcana. Um, the Hierophant is card number five, which can represent changes as well as like a midway point on one's journey. Tradition, a lesson, spiritual leader or guide, enlightenment and awakening in service of spirit, formal education or training and new paradigms. As you search for your divine truth, you create frameworks of belief that help you to expand your consciousness and ground your faith into this reality. If you've been stuck in an old tradition or a structured way of acting or being that is no longer serving you, it is time to let it fall away in order to make space for a better version of you. The hero fan serves as a gateway between divine source and the seeker to be open to new paradigms and perspectives and teachers in your life. Look to the patterns around you and strive to understand your own internal compass. Know that while there is wisdom in the teachings of the mystics, the voice of your own heart is the one voice that matters the most. Find the wisdom of the heavens within. The affirmation, I am my own guru, and the guidance I need is rooted in my faith, my belief, and my unique essence. So now we take a look at the journey, the in-between space between your challenge and the gift. You have from the Wildwood Tarot, the energy of the mirror. So it's interesting because this, was it the solar flares? The first card of balance for the solar flares was water's energy, right? And this is very mermaid mirror emotions, diving into the depths of one's self, nurturing, perhaps even tempering this like any heated debates or heated energy going on at this time solar flares that may be activating within you this could even be for some of you you may be triggered at this time but by certain things but you are seemingly um maintaining your balance here your guidance is to connect to source which is within yourself your heart 
connecting to your own energy, your own essence and vibration, and following your own ethic and moral code. So the mirror is the hanged man in the traditional tarot. So we have a lot of like major arcana. The hanged man, much like the mirror, is going to be about taking time in stillness, in pauses, in meditation. You can see like in these cards, they're all solidary people, right? I mean, technically she has a heron here and a deceased loved one, but they're all solitary. So it's like taking time in solitude is going to give you great benefit. In many traditions, the initiator into hidden knowledge is a female figure that reveals insights and wisdom to those on a spiritual sojourn. In the ancient Arthurian cycles, this is Morgan, who takes Arthur on his journey into limbo and healing on the Isle of Avalon. The Lady of the Lake is another such primal figure who also acts as a holder and guardian of the sword Excalibur and as an arbiter of Arthur's actions. Both these archetypes represent the unconscious journey of the soul into deeper awareness and wisdom. No act of will can make the soul take this journey. It can only happen after much searching and questing. It is also preconditioned of this experience that some kind of wounding has taken place. It is through the pain and endurance of the wounding that the wisdom comes, at which point the individual can cross the lake to the island of healing and protection. It is a natural state of surrender that allows the inner self to travel across the emotional sea to the other world. The mysterious figure holds the mirror that aids our inner reflections and the orb of seeing that helps illuminate the shadows of our inner life. The heron stands both as keeper of the mysteries and a guardian of the other world. In some legends, three cranes or herons were seen at the gates of this magical realm and croaked warnings to the unprepared or uninitiated visitor. The cauldron represents the vessel of hidden knowledge and inspiration. From it, the bright flame of insight and revelation illuminates the dark landscape. This is the card that in the traditional tarot is known as the hanged man. We have chosen to almagate aspects of this into the blasted oak while the reflecting mirror offers the same dizzy change from one state of being to another. As the hanged man sees life from another angle, so those who look into the mirror see things reflected as they truly are. So it's it's very interesting. When I f this card first came out, it kind of did connect me to Narcissus, right? So Narcissus is a Greek god who apparently fell in love with himself. And this is kind of what you're doing with the mirror or the hanged man's energy energy. Um, energy anyway right it is it is our own narcissism and our narcissism can be how much we value and love ourselves versus how much we don't right um narcissism could be what you look to um like say in movies or something like where does your eye gravitate where like who do you focus on who do you kind of envy type of energy. And that can all be kind of our narcissists where our natural tendency is to look towards those people because subconsciously we almost want to be those people, right? But this is the need to not adapt and honor and love thyself. So your, your own narcissists, like for me, for one thing, like when I watch romance movies, I'm a gay male, but I'm always kind of, or what I was always kind of looking at the woman but then I realized that that's my narcissus at the end of the day I kind of want to be in that person's shoes if that makes sense so that can be one of your narcissus and with the mirror here it's like honoring your reflection and the more you understand and honor and accept of yourself the more those flares will kind of weaken they won't be so intense you just kind of learn to love yourself and accept who you are and what you look for. And from there, you can start to change things if you so choose to, right? So one thing you may want to start actually telling yourself is looking in the mirror and telling yourself you love yourself, light and shadow. The shadow aspects I tend to see is more the things that, um, it could be traumedy, traumy, traumedies, traumas, insecurities. They could be um, our 
desires and things of that nature that maybe we have some sort of shame or guilt about. There was this message about letting go of old traditions and perspectives, right? But when you start telling yourself you love even the parts that you don't like about yourself, it's it slowly starts healing your shadow or your reflection energy to help you ascend on your journey. So with the mirror, it did bring up the Avalons. So I want to pull you a card from the Avalon Magic Oracle. The Reflection of the Mirror for Taurus. Fill up from the healing waters of Mother Earth's sacred springs and connect to her heartbeat. Become as one energy. Allow the true love of your soul to radiate and you shall see the natural beauty around you expand. So I'm going to pull you an animal spirit guide from the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit Oracle. On the pre-shuffle, we do have the energy of the otter. So the otter is a balance between work and play and finding that equilibrium. But let's see what the um, animal spirit guide is for tourists for the next seven days or so. So for the next seven days, um, for the balancing of this energy, it's just something I want to want you to kind of keep in mind that may help um, bring the best balance to your journey and what you're working on. Animal Spirit Guide for the next seven days. The Oracle's Advice to Taurus. Oh, look at that. It came out. We have the energy of the rabbit as the underlying. So the rabbit can be connected to fertility and cycles. So very much your fertility abundance comes in waves or cycles, right? Unobstructed joy, playfulness, and contentment. Perhaps the most joyful creature within the animal spirit deck. The otter represents absolute bliss. Otter energy is the playfulness of a child available to us at any age. They have a giddiness and reverence for life itself without the presence of doubt, worry, or skepticism. Imagine yourself with a little more otter energy. What would life look like? What would it take to bring you there? The otter card begs these questions and wants to transport us to that precious place as soon as possible. The celebration awaits. When in balance, full of love and needs nothing. When out of balance, gloomy, sighs and makes silly excuses. To bring into balance a dance party or celebration. So you may want to crank some tunes up, dance around with carefree abandon, um, celebrate with friends, family members, things of that nature find things to celebrate in your day-to-day -day for the next little while to keep those vibes and those solar flares kind of active for you, this karmic retribution. So for the closing message, I'm going to pull you a card from the language of the flowers. Closing message for Taurus. The Sorry, I think it's called the language of flowers. Closing message for... Taurus at this time, please, and thank you. Oh, what's love got to do, got to do with it? What's love but a second-hand emotion? Status, adaptation, change will be better than you think. So there you have it. Sweet some clarity, bright paths of understanding will open. That kind of makes sense with this hero friend here, right? It's like the staircase to the divine, to wisdom, to ascension. 
So there you have it, Taurus. I hope this reading resonates. If it does, please feel free to like this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you next time. Many blessings, live, love, and light. Take care.